AXND Life. What's going on? Xavier here. David here. If you guys have not already and are new to our channel, please like, comment, and subscribe below for new, more new content that we make. Yes. Alright guys, so today is going to be a chit chat. About our blended family. And how we make it work. Yeah. So I know um, I had gotten a question um, from someone, uh, I think it was earlier this week or last week, and they want to know about our kids and um, how old they are, or, you know, who's who or whatnot. Um, so we thought we'd bring it to you. Um, I have a 16 year old, and um, he is biracial as well. Um, he is. Goofy, his name's Caden, um, and that was from a previous relationship that I was in, um, from an old high school sweetheart that I was with for like three and a half, four years. Yeah, and I have an eight-year-old son who's also biracial through a previous marriage, and he, yeah, uh, like, well, he's eight years old in the third grade, and... Yeah. And mine's a junior. I did forget to mention that. He's a junior. And I have, we have joint custody, so it's 50-50, whereas Caden is I have my son. I have full the, custody. Yeah, I have the sole legal physical custody of my baby boy. Yeah. And then we have yeah. Kaya, mm -hmm. which is born on my, who was born on my birthday. Yeah. And she is 10 months she old. She brings the family together. Yes, she is so cute, guys. Oh my god, I know you guys have seen her in some previous videos. If you haven't already, you could check the video that I posted the other day. Um, uh, I think it was uh, Kaya's 10 months old milestones, most beautiful baby in the world. Because I feel like she's the most beautiful baby in the world, but you know, some parents are modest, but I really feel like she is, though, for real. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get into our topic um, how we make it work. Um, Blended families are hard, and I'm just going to be straight up, you know, you're bringing two families together that, you know, are so used to that parent solely, and it, and then when you bring them together, it's, it's hard for them to want to come together as well, whereas, you know, us two come together. Like it's, peas and carrots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even like peas and carrots together. <laughs> like pork chops and gravy yeah yeah but you know with my son you know initially you know he was also how old was he he was 12 11 12, 12 11 yeah yeah when we met so initially you know he he took on to david and he was like yeah mom i really want you to date him yada 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 um because i really like him and then the teenage age hit yeah and it was like oh my god you can't tell me nothing i know everything it's like where did my sweet boy go like teenagers are a handful let me tell you between the yes, hormones and their attitudes you're like where did my sweet child go where did my baby boy go you know yeah. but i was there before <laughs> And so I understand some of the things he's going through. I mean, not everything, because I came from a, the parents that were are still married today, and so that's a little different. But mm -hmm. as far as acting out and not listening, yeah, I was I was there. I rebelled slightly uh, growing up. You know, I I come from a family who to you know my mom was previously married and i have a stepdad um you know basically i see as my dad um granted my dad is in my life now and we are closer than we ever have been but that's you know that's who i saw growing up and the hard feelings that when you see this don't you know don't take it personal but you know um that's what i saw growing up since i was five years old um but coming from that i could kind of see you know how Caden was, you know, especially whenever I got into my teenage years and I was curious about my father and things, I I wanted to reach out to him and, you know, 
course, I rebelled a little bit, but not really. I was too scared to get in trouble. <laughs> I was a little chicken, but <laughs> I was like the good kid. And I would tell it. I would tell, oh my God, I would tell things. My friends would like sneak out and stuff. I know this is off topic, but, and they'd have me go with them and I'd call my dad or, or I'd call my mom to come pick me up because I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Tattle tip. I didn't want to get in trouble. <clears throat> yeah. But no, but I understand like, you know, having a step parent, what it's like, you know, you feel like, oh, you know, they're, they're taking your mom away or your, your dad away. And it's like, oh gosh, like, can I have my parent back? Can you give them back to me? I want all their attention solely focused on me. And then, you know, as I got older, you know, and I, the things that I've learned over the years and you know, sometimes I was a butt for no reason, you know. <clears throat> but I understand where Caden's come from. Sometimes he gives him a hard time. But here lately, you know, he's been a whole lot better, especially since we have um, our new one. He's been very attentive to her. Yeah. He's definitely maturing. Yeah, he in has. In a good way. Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah, he so has I'm been. Glad to see that. Yeah, he has definitely been a lot better since we've had her. And, uh. Not, not as much mouth. Sometimes he just likes to give it to me, and I give it right back. I do trust, because homie don't play that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I have an attitude, so, yeah. He don't want to meet my raft. No, he doesn't. Or me, either. Believe mm -hmm. me. Yeah. So I know. And then coming from, uh, you know, Jaden's perspective, you know, he's eight. You know, he, you know, he's adapted well. Yeah. He's adapted well. Here lately, we've had some little issues with him. Um, and he, he and um, his mom and I, we he split up. We split up when he was like two years old, so he didn't really understand when we did. So, but now he he asks a lot of questions and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like why, and I mean I don't want to tell him the reason why, because. I don't want him being angry with anybody, but, um, so all I can do is just show him love and try to be respectful around his mom so he doesn't see, like, us arguing or anything like that, because best believe it goes down sometimes, but just never let him see that, so, because yeah. I don't want him to, like, when he gets older and has relationships Thing, it's normal to be arguing all the time because yeah. that's not a good thing no it's definitely not and you know you know sometimes I feel like you know Jaden takes to me he knows that I am stepmom and you know he's okay with that but like sometimes he likes to challenge me <laughs> as Caden challenges challenge David yeah. and <laughs> it can be very trying sometimes yeah, and sometimes I'm naive and don't believe what he's doing and stuff mm -hmm. like that and yeah. want to protect him and stuff like that knowing that that's not that's not what I need to be doing yeah so and you know it's work we recently just went through some things and I'm not gonna get on to get into that on here because um, some things I like to keep personal in our family but you know, we did come up with the fact that David has the uh, guilty father syndrome, and that stems from, you know, the divorce, and, you know, and then whenever he worked out of town, you know, being, you know, gone a lot. Uh, yeah. Granted, we got, you know, we tried to make our trip to come see him when he was out of town as much as we could, yeah, what and we could afford financially, but, you know. When I did come in town, I made sure I had him mm -hmm. when I was at home yeah. visiting. yeah. And, you know, and then, and, you know, sometimes it doesn't help, you know, especially, you know, I kind of want to go into all that, but whenever people may say, oh, you know, maybe you were selfish because you went out to town. Yeah, I'm just trying up. to provide for my family the best way I can. Yeah. And that's, I had an opportunity and I took it. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it yeah. was only for two or three years. Yeah, two years. So, so, I mean, I didn't, it wasn't that long of a time, but mm -hmm. you still, you still miss a lot. Yeah. And it gives you a lot of regret and stuff, but. Yeah. But the things that, you know, we work on is, you know, 
not feeling guilty for the time that's lost because you can't make up for it now, yeah. you know. And at least I was able to come home on the weekends. Like, a lot of people in the military with families, like, they don't see their, their families for a year, Months, a couple years. years. Yeah. I mean, a long time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm thankful I, I had a chance to come home on the weekend and stuff like that. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, and it makes it hard. So, you know, what we what we feel like works for our relationship is to communicate. Communicate is the biggest, biggest thing in order to make blended families work. Yeah. If you don't have that communication, it's not going to work, plain and simple. And you guys have to be on the same page. If you're not on the same page, it defeats the purpose of structure in your household. Um, you've got to be on the same page. So if I say no, Caden or Jaden can't have, um, say, a Danish before uh, break or before dinner, then you know he's gonna follow up behind me. She said, "No, you couldn't have that before dinner." Plain and simple. Yeah. If I say he can't be outside riding his bike or something, like um, she has to follow through with me. We gotta mm -hmm. be a team so we can parent the kids the correct way and give them that structure that kids need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're not mean by we're you know by any means, but no. you know whenever we have discipline for them. You know, we, we expect that um, out of them. Recently, um, Jaden just had his first punishment for one week of turning off his all of his games on his electronics. And, you know, he, he called his dad. He was like, Dad, my games aren't working on my phone. And then, you know, he had to sit and explain, okay, well, because your consequences due to your actions, I have, you know, minimalized your phone to only phone calls and text messages and that's it and um, but you know since he is new at giving him punishment which you know is long overdue I have to say is long overdue um, he kind of messed up you know he went and took him to get pizza and let him play a game and of course we had our words about it but you know, and she wasn't too happy about that. No, because I feel like if if you're on punishment, you don't reward bad behavior. You don't go out and go do X Y Z knowing that your child's on punishment because that defeats the purpose of the punishment, and they're not going to learn. They're going to think, oh, well, I can do it anyway, regardless of what she says. She might say I'm on punishment, but he says, hey, we're going to go have fun, and completely ignore the fact that. You know, I'm on punishment for something. And so that's something that we <laughs> had a falling out about, but we're trying to work together um, so that we can be a better team when it comes to punishment for the kids. Um, Caden's a little different, you know, not different. You know, if he's if he's on punishment for a week, he's on punishment. But we have a whole different situation with that, and I'll have to get into that another time. But with him, you know, I expect him to do things and if he doesn't do it then his computer is gone or you know I have his phone shut down so he can't be on it um, for a period of time and he is not happy whenever I do that um, his recent punishment was um, because he messed up in school um, he wasn't allowed to do anything over the holiday break he wanted to go spend night with friends and stuff and I was like no sorry if you do what you need to do in school plain and simple then I'll let you do anything in the world but if you can't do what you're supposed to do then you're not doing anything you're not gonna go have fun you're not gonna have this cool easy Christmas break that you think you're gonna have and you know he wasn't too happy but you know it is what it is you you got to learn from your mistakes and do better um, I guess the other thing about having a blended family is learning to share ourselves with the entire family. Um, and that's, you know, something that, you know, we've got to work on too. Um, cause it, you got to share yourself with the entire family. You can't just focus on one child. You got to let everybody know that 
they all equally have attention. And, you know, it's a little bit different for the baby because we do have to give her more attention because she is little. And, you know, she can't do it for herself like the bigger boys can. Um, so she's got the luxury. She's got the up and ups when it comes to that. But um, that's something that the boys are having to learn that, you know, ultimately, you know, she does get a little more attention, but she is younger. And you guys, whenever they were younger, they got the same amount of attention that she did whenever they were little. Um, but, you know, you know how kids are, you know. My son initially was a little bit jealous of her because his grandmother <laughs> gave her a little more attention. He was like, hmm. But then he quickly got over it, and he just loves her to pieces. Jaden, on the other hand, is a little very jealous of her. And uh, so we're having to deal with that right now. But um, hopefully it'll get better, and we'll get through it. And, you know, try to let them know that, you know, this is your sister, and she's here to stay. And, you know, we got to make it work, you know? You have anything to say? Well, you said it pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta work together and be there for them, show them all love, knowing we all love them. Mm -hmm. And we're here for them. Yeah. For anything. So. Are there any tips that you think we could share with anybody else who has a blended family that you could offer? Um, just be willing to put in the work. And... If one of your kids have a question, be there for them and give them the best answer you can. And right. Yeah, just and compromise. Like you're not gonna get your way for everything, so you gotta be willing to compromise with your spouse to make sure everybody's happy, so you can keep on growing as a family. Yeah, and compromise is hard. Especially if you, you know, like I said before, um, you know, I was a single mom for a very long time, like 11 years before yeah, I met David. And the David. only child. And the only child. And the spoiled child. I wasn't that spoiled. That has to get off yeah. your attention. But I made good grades. That's why I was a spoiled child. Mm -hmm. Because I was a good child is why I was a spoiled child. Yeah, so, she was. You know, it'd be different if I was out there doing drugs and stuff like that, but I was predominantly I was a good kid so um, that's why I was full. don't be hating mm -hmm. <laughs> I was a good one but you know compromise is, is, is definitely hard like I said you know because I was solely a single parent and so it was hard for me as Caden's mom to um, you know kind of it wasn't so much adjust. I, I adjusted well, but it was hard to like see him fuss at him for something or, you know, that, that was a little hard, but you know, I had to be on the same page with him too. And then sometimes I wasn't because I was going in complete protective mode over him. And yeah. that's what moms do. We go on our, for our protective mode and we don't want to see the things that our kids do, but we have to know our kids do stuff. And we have to be observant and making sure that we see and let them know that we see them doing things. And, and it has to be nipped in the butt right when it happens. Because if you don't and you let it go, then they think, oh, well, I'm going to get away with it anyway. Yeah. So, and that vice versa, that goes for Jaden too. Like if you, we both have to watch and pay attention and make sure that we are aware of what they are both doing. No, okay. Good thing you said something about that because... Jaden's, I can unlock his phone this today, so oh, I, yeah. I totally forgot about it. Oh, he'll so, be alright. Yeah, I need to unlock his phone. He'll be happy about that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. But yeah, so communication, what else? Mm. Being on the same page. Yeah. Love. Yes, love, love, love. And... You know, sometimes it's rough and, you know, sometimes you feel like giving up, but you got to know why you went into the marriage to begin with. And it can be trying. It can definitely be trying. There has been times where I was like, look, if you don't get a handle of him, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, away." said the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, 
is it can be hard. I mean, yeah. it can be that hard that you know you might love your spouse more than anything, but if you see things that you don't like that your spouse does, it, it drives you to that point where you feel like just walking away sometimes. And but I love him more than anything, yeah. so I want to make worth, it work. Yeah, our our family is worth fighting for. So yeah, yeah. All right, guys. If if you guys have gone through similar situations or whatnot, and feel free to comment below and let us know your story. And yeah, if we'll you got any back. tips too, I mean, we we mm -hmm. love to hear from hear about it. So yeah, yeah. we take all the tips. <laughs> like I said, we're working. We're we're still we're a work in progress. We're yeah. not perfect. By no means, we're not perfect. But um, but yeah, we'll get through this with love and God and our family and. Yep. We'll make it work. We'll make it happen. All right. But if you guys, like I said, have any questions, comments, or whatever, if there's things that you guys want to know about us, feel free to comment below your questions or whatever. Hit us up. Yeah, and we'll get back to you soon. But peace, love, All and right. take care. And thank you for watching our channel. Bye. Bye. Bye.